You're watching Park City Television. I'm your host, Chelsea, and I'm joined with Will Westrate with Park City Anglers, and we are fishing the Middle Provo River coming here through Midway. It is just another beautiful day, but you have lots of those here. Yeah, the River. yeah, we have 240 <laughs> days of sunshine nice. down here. I love it. Well, yeah. part of your experience to make it a positive one when you're out fly fishing the Provo, you need to make sure that your technique is correct, and it's certainly an art. You can call it that. Let's talk about nymphing or subsurface fishing. What exactly is that? Yeah, so we'll demonstrate what most people do when they first start out on, on the Provo River. We're going to do nymph fishing, which is where the flies we use imitate the nymphal form of the insect. Uh, they usually use a weighted fly or put weights on your line, and it's also called indicator fishing. We have an indicator that is will indicate how deep our flies are going, but also when the fish hits the fly. So I'll start out, uh, we'll get the line out, and we usually will start with about, we'll take about two rod lengths of line off, off of the rod to get started. All right. Once we get that out, We're gonna do what's called a roll cast. We'll start with our rod right down on the water. We're gonna lift our arm up, get our arm almost above our head. And once we get there, then we'll accelerate and cast upstream of ourselves. And then we're gonna let that just drift down as naturally as we can. It'll take a few seconds for the flies to get down. And we, all, we just follow the indicator down with the rod tip. Once that goes tight, that's kind of the end of your first cast. Mm -hmm. Do the same thing over again. We're gonna lift up, cast. If we form a loop down here, we like to what's called mending the line. We'll lift the rod tip up, we'll give it a little mend, and we'll follow it right down with a lot of slack in the fly line. And why is mending so important? Uh, two things, it keeps the indicator the flies and your rod tip lined up so when you do get a hit from a fish you set the hook you're pulling immediately pulling on the line to to set the hook also the fish will see the flies before they see the fly line so mm -hmm. you yeah. keep it uh, a lot of times it's not the fly line that actually spooks the fish it's actually the shadow it's so sunny here it's a shadow of the fly <laughs> line going down the river that oh, spooks really? them before wow. before your flies get there all right so we like to well when it gets in front of us we'll lift it up lift we'll it. mend it and then we'll go right back down and let her go and then you gradually lower it as it goes and off lower to the it side. We get it so we get a very nice long drift. The fish okay. are basically stationary in the river. So with nymphing, we like to go by as many fish as we can. So we're gonna try to get those flies looking as good as they can for as long a time as they can. So we use the rod as a management to manage the line and manage the flies to make those things look good to the fish. Very good. Should I give what it a try think? now? You think you're ready to I go? I think I'm ready. Do you guys think I'm ready? All right, Chelsea, I let's guess see what you got. the real question is, do the fish think I'm ready? That's what we'll find out. Okay. So, as you said, I'm now letting this kind of drift Now mend it a little down. bit. Mending. Yeah, okay. you might want to reel up just a little bit. Pull it in a little. Yep, now okay. lock the line under your hand and, and raise up. it up and cast. Pretty darn good. It's okay. Yeah. It's okay. <laughs> yeah. Now you're going to lift the rod tip up, and when it's in front of you, you will throw in a little mend there. Now mend it. There you go. Now just follow it right down and let it drift naturally. And let it pull the rest of the line and out? And let it go till it goes tight, and then that okay. will be the end of your, your cast for this one. Ah, oh, that was a little that, better, yeah, right? That was right? better. <laughs> hey, you're getting better. So when it comes in front of me, that's when I want to mend yeah, it. Yeah, that's when okay. you want to mend it. Mend it right there. there. Now follow it down. Oh, there, there you go. Then you wait till it's kind of in line with you, the indicator. Yeah, okay. wait till it goes down and let it sit off. at the bottom of the cast for a few seconds and then get yourself collected and ready to cast All again. All right. Well, I think I'm ready for a couple hours of, of nymphing now with fly fishing. This I is pretty great. I think you are, and that's it. You just get in a good rhythm uh -huh. and keep casting, and the more the better rhythm you get into, the better those flies look to the fish. Very good. 
Okay, Will. Well, I think I'm about ready for a couple hours of good fly fishing. Hope I you guys so. are ready too. Be sure to hang out with Park City Anglers for some tips. A big thank you to them. You're watching Park City Television.